Okay, today we're going to be learning how to make a table using a graphing calculator. So this is pretty exciting. Graphing calculators are very powerful and can do a lot for you, but they definitely take some practice. So you may want to watch this video a few times depending on how it's going. So when you're trying to make a table from an equation, the first thing you always have to do is put your equation into your calculator. So we'll just do a random equation right now. We'll try to do the equation y equals 5x plus 30. So something that's going to be very important for you is that the independent variable, you're always going to have to use x for that. And in your graphing calculator, when you do it, you have to use this button here. It says x, t, theta, n. You have to choose that button to be your independent variable. In my notes, I would draw an arrow over to it. So when you're getting out your graphing calculator, you can work with that. Oh, and if you haven't already done that, pause the video, grab a graphing calculator, you're really going to want that. Okay, your dependent variable, that is why, and using your graphing calculator, you have to choose this button right here, which says y equals. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually do that. I'm going to transfer over to the actual graphing calculator screen. So if I want to type that in, I'm going to tap this y equals first. And in y equals, you're going to get a lot of options. And then we're going to type in 5x. And remember, I have to type this xt theta n button plus 30. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type that equation in y1. So I'm going to say y1, that's my first equation. All right, let's go back so we learn how to get to the table. So when we want to set up the table, just to try to say like, hey, where do I want my table to start? That kind of thing. If you look um, above your F2 button, right here, maybe I should get a different color, um, that's going to say table setup. And to get there, you have to push the second button and then the table setup, which says window. Okay, so you're going to come up here and you're going to go to second and then up here to table setup. All right, so when we do that, there's going to be two things that happen. And I'll go ahead and look back at the graphing calculator to get there. So the first one is this. So when I go to second, table set, the first thing says table start. That means what do I want my table to start at? So a lot of times we want it to start at zero, but we might want it to start at 100 if we were interested in it was happening 100 days later or something. The second one says um, triangle table. That's like the little delta sign in math. That means the change. What do you want the table to count by? In this type, I'm going to pick three. I want it to go up by every three. Is, okay. And then lastly, to see your table, what you're going to do is hit second graph, second F5. It shows a table. And now you can see that what's happening and my x value is counting by three is because I told it to count by three is my y value is giving the value of y 5x plus 30 every time so let's go back ahead and mark a couple of those things down on our paper so if I said something like this table start that tells you what to start at And then delta table says what to count by. Um, for your x's. To view the table, you do second and F5. So that's going to be second. And then go up here to F5, and you'll get to see your table. OK? So we can answer a lot of questions looking at the table. If I asked you something like this, pretend it was um, money after a certain amount of weeks. I might say something like this. How many weeks will it take you to get $120? What you would want to do is find 120 here and look over and you'd say, oh, it takes 18 weeks. Or how much money might you have to have after 30 weeks? You'd say, oh, I've got $180. So these are very, very convenient. A lot of the work is pre-done for you. So whenever we're solving lots of problems during graphing calculators, these are some good techniques 
to help you out.